hello uh, we are now entering quant stem the topic being statistical description of data uh, to have an idea about statistical data or what it means statistics is nothing but a method used for collection classification analysis interpretation and prediction of numerical observation going to the first problem in statistical description of data it goes as follows a sample study of the people of an area revealed that total number of female workers were 40 percent and the percentage of coffee drinkers were 45 as a whole and the percentage of male coffee drinkers were 20 what was the percentage of female non coffee drinkers going back to the work area female workers uh, given that the female workers are 40 percent and now also it is given total percentage of coffee drinkers were 45 percent it will include both female as well as male workers now percentage of male drinkers of coffee were 20 percent so therefore percentage of female drinkers of coffee drinkers is from the total percentage of coffee drinkers you subtract the percentage of uh, male coffee drinkers uh, which is nothing but equation 1 minus equation 2 which is 45 minus 20 equal to 25 percent that will be the percentage of female drinkers of coffee now hence percentage of female non drinkers would be we know the total percentage of female workers from that when we subtract uh, the percentage of female coffee drinkers uh, we get the percentage of female non drinkers that is 40 minus 25 or that equation a minus equation b which is 40 minus 25 equal to 15 percent so the answer is option b uh, going back to our powerpoint projection uh, we have option b which is 15 percent second problem the number of accidents per week in a locality are given below number of accidents frequency okay uh, what is uh, what is required is the number of weeks with three or less accidents the total number of weeks basically going back to our work area total weeks with three or less accidents are as follows 15 weeks in 15 weeks zero accidents took place 19 weeks one accident 22 weeks 2 accidents 31 weeks 3 accidents so we need a uh, total weeks with 3 or less accidents so you add up all these things which results in 87 so the option is D uh, going back to our PowerPoint projection so the option is D which is 87 third question the mid value of classes given as 15.5 25.5, 35.5, The last class of the distribution is as worked out as follows. The mid value of the last class of given distribution is 45.5. We know the difference between any mid value and the subsequent mid value here is 10. And if the mid value is 45.5, which is the mean of upper and lower class boundary of the interval hence the class interval for 45.5 the mid value will be 40.5 to 50.5 so the answer is option c going to our powerpoint it is option c which says 40.5 and 50.5 uh, question 4 which of the following is a statistical data uh, when we go analyze the all the option uh, we know that uh, uh, statistical data is a numerical collection of facts of li like information so it should be option B if you go back to a PowerPoint uh, uh, it is a collection so uh, the B option has got three members Ram Anand and Hari having all the uh, information on like uh, I mean it's a, on a 
uh, what do you call it as uh, collection of facts of like information so Ram Anand and Hari's heights are being uh, referred whereas unlike the other options where only one age is given another height of Ram and weight given then comparison of A B and C are being done now so the answer is option B if you go to B option so the answer says height of Ram is 165 centimeters uh, and of Anand and Hari are 141 centimeters and 148 centimeters uh, this is the uh, this is a statistical data so that is the correct option B fifth question the following frequency distributions are given that is data or variable X uh, 0 1 2 3 and 4 and the frequency F the corresponding frequency for the corresponding data X would be 3 7 10 12 4 we want to find what type of frequency distribution it is now going back to the work area in this case the va variable or data X is presented as distinct value hence the distribution is discrete frequency distribution so the option A or we go back to our PowerPoint which says option A or discrete frequency distribution sixth question the following frequency distribution uh, less than 10 frequency 7 less than 20 30 less than 30 23 less than 40 45 less than 50 it is 50 cumulative frequency and less than 60 it is 60 we need to find what type of distribution is this as shown the frequency for data less than 10 is the 7 for data less than 20 it is 13 for frequency for data less than 30 is 23 and so on this indicates the distribution uh, as shown is a cumulative frequency distribution so the answer is option C going back to our PowerPoint it is option C which says accumulative distribution seventh question the lower and upper limit of a class are 14 to 19 the midpoint of the class would be going back to our work area the arithmetic mean of lower and upper limit of a class 14 to 19 is nothing but 14 plus 19 by 2 is equal to 16.5 so the answer is option C going back to uh, PowerPoint it is option C which is 16.5 eighth question in a relative frequency distribution frequencies are expressed as by definition of relative frequency distribution it is the ratio of frequency of that class to the total frequency so the answer is option A going to a uh, PowerPoint it is option A which is not only a fraction but a positive fraction so option A positive fraction ninth question the graphical representation of a cumulative frequency distribution is called if you go by the definition uh, it is nothing but it refers to OG graph or the answer is option B or OG graph or OG option B tenth question for drawing histogram we consider the following as per definition we consider class boundary as one of the parameters to draw the histogram so the answer is option B going by our PowerPoint it is option B it is class boundaries 11th question in class frequency width of the class is defined as per definition it is frequency density uh, going to our option it is option A which is frequency density twelfth question an area diagram from these options A B C and D will refer to a histogram so the option is A which is nothing but histogram option A is the answer 
uh, 13th question in histogram classes are taken as out of the four option given it is overlapping that is the B option because uh, we know that it is the method of drawing histogram is done on based on overlapping of classes so the answer is option B or overlapping A fourteenth question: A histogram can be drawn for a distribution with equal class interval by considering, out of the four option, it is the C option, height of the bars proportional to frequency density. So the answer is option C, or height of the bars proportional to frequency density. A fifteenth problem: If the mid value of classes of a frequency distribution are 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. The last class boundaries are going to our worksheet again. The mid value of the last class boundary is 25. The difference between any mid value to the succeeding or preceding value is found to be 5. Therefore, the class interval size or width should be also 5. Hence, last class boundary for the mid value of 25, which is the arithmetic mean of the lower and upper boundary, would work out as 22.5 to 27.5. So, the answer is option A. Going back to our PowerPoint, it is option A, which says 22.5. 27.5 uh, 16th question we would like to know what is nationality what is nationality treated as uh, out of the four option given it is an attribute as per definition so going by the answer it is option A which says it is an attribute 17 Data collection can be obtained from out of the four option mentioned uh, uh, that is primary source, secondary source is the second option and mathematical derivation and the fourth option being either A or B. So data collection can be obtained either by primary source or secondary source that is D option which says either A or B. Going to our 17th question option, it is D, which is either A or B. Uh, 18th question, the primary data are collected by, uh, based on the given inputs, A option says it is interview method, B observation method, C questionnaire method, and D all of these. So all all the three options are valid so the answer is D option or all of these or going to a PowerPoint it is D or all of these 19th question the method of collecting data covering the widest range is out of the four option given it is the questionnaire method so the option is C which says it is questionnaire method 20th, the best method to collect data in case of natural calamity out of the four options given, that is personal interview, indirect interview, questionnaire method and the direct observation method. The best answer is the D option which says direct observation method. Going to our options as given in the PowerPoint, it is D which says direct observation method. Uh, 21st question it says how is data being presented now the options are either it can be textual form or is it in the B option says tabulation form C option says diagrammatic form and D option says all of these and now data can be presented in any one of these forms so basically textual tabulation diametric I mean diagrammatic or all of these so D is the option it says all of these going to our PowerPoint it says D all of these 22nd problem the modes of presentation of data are it has to be textual tabulation and diagrammatic 
as per the concept of representation of data it is option A which says textual tabulation and diagrammatic going to our PowerPoint answers it is option A which says textual tabulation and diag diagrammatic now 23rd question classification of data is of four kinds they are the types of classifications are one is qualitative two is quantitative three chronological and four is geographical so the answer is four that is C option and uh, when you go to the PowerPoint it is C option which says four 24th question the entire upper part of a table is called as per the concept of parts of the table it is caption so the answer is option A which says it is caption when you go to the PowerPoint it is cap ap option A which says caption Uh, 25th problem in tabulation source of the data is shown in uh, foot note as per the concept of parts of the table so the answer is option A or footnote going to the PowerPoint presentation it is option A which says footnote 26th question in order to compare two or more related series we consider a multiple bar chart this is also as per diagrammatic representation so the answer is option A or which says multiple bar chart if you go to the PowerPoint presentation it is option A which says multiple bar chart 27th question a frequency distribution is also known as both a discrete frequency distribution and also it is continuous frequency distribution so the answer is C option both A and B this is as per definition so going to our PowerPoint presentation we have C option which says both A and B 28th question the number of classes in a frequency distribution as we uh, going to our, our point it is based on general practice that the number of classes in a frequency distribution is normally between 5 and 15 so the answer is option C uh, going to our PowerPoint presentation it is option C which is between 5 and 15 29th question mutually exclusive classification is usually meant for uh, uh, a, con a continuous variable mutually exclusive classification is usually meant for is a continue for a continuous variable is the answer so the option is B going to a PowerPoint presentation it is B option which says a continuous variable 30th question the length of a class is as per definition it is the difference between the upper class boundary and the lower class boundary of the class so going by the PowerPoint presentation it is option A which says the option A it says the difference between upper class boundary UCB and the lower class boundary LCB of that class uh, 31st problem frequency density of a class is the ratio of class frequency to the class interval so the option this is as per definition the classical definition so the answer is option B or as per PowerPoint presentation is class frequency to the class interval uh, 32nd problem the class limit of a frequency distributions as per definition 
is nothing but the minimum and maximum value of a class. So the answer as per PowerPoint presentation is option A, the minimum and maximum values of a class. 33rd question, a frequency distribution is a special kind of, uh, it's a, a tabular representation about statistical data from the given option. So this is as per uh, the concept of classification of data. Now going by the PowerPoint presentation, it is option A, which says tabular representation about uh, tabular representation about statistical data. 34th question, generally horizontal bar diagrams are used uh, as per the concept of bar diagrams. It is a qualitative a representation of data. So the answer is option B. As per PowerPoint presentation, it is option B qualitative data. Thirty-fifth uh, question for the particular for the particular class sum of less than frequency and more than frequency is nothing but the total frequency that is option A which is total frequency as per PowerPoint notation it is A which is total frequency. Uh, 36th question, difference between lower and upper class boundaries is uh, called as, it can be called as, as width of the class or size of the class or any one of them. So the option is both of these apply, that is C option. So the answer is C as per PowerPoint, which is nothing but both of these. 37th question for the continuous grouped frequency distribution from ungrouped data we use class limit so the answer is option A as per PowerPoint presentation it is option A which says class limits 38th question the class interval is determined only from uh, closed end classes that is answer is option B as per PowerPoint it is option B it says closed end classes 39th question a frequency distribution is given below class and frequency 0 to 10 frequency 7 10 to 20 class frequency 30 20 to 30 it is 23 30 to 40 it is 17 40 to 50 it is 14 50 to 60 is 6 so the cumulative frequency of the class 30 to 40 is worked out as follows. As per definition, uh, the cumulative frequency of the class say uh, 30 to 40 is obtained by adding all the frequencies from the first interval up to 30 to 40 interval which is equal to uh, which is uh, which is uh, equal to 7 plus 13 plus 23 plus 17 which is equal to 60. So the answer is option C. Going back to the PowerPoint presentation, it is option C which says it is 60, the cumulative frequency. 40th question. In a histogram, based on the given option, uh, the width of all rectangulars need not be same that is as per the concept of drawing histograms so the option is B option which says the width of all rectangles need not be same uh, 41st question the mode of a frequency distribution is determined from uh, from four of the option it is nothing but by the histogram. This is based on the concept of diag diagrammatic representation. So the answer is option A which says it is histogram. As per PowerPoint it is option A which, is, which says it is histogram. 
forty second problem the median of a frequency distribution is given by the point of intersection of less than and greater than OG uh, graph. Uh, this is as per the concept of representation. So the answer is B option going by the PowerPoint presentation uh, B option that is the point of intersection of less than and greater than OG curve. 43rd problem pi diagram is used for comparing different components and related components and related to the total so this is based on the concept of method of diagrammatic representation so the answer is option a or as per powerpoint presentation option a which says comparing different components and related to the total that is what is your pi diagram is used. 44th question circular diagrams are always two dimensional. That is option B as per the PowerPoint presentation which says two dimensional. 45th problem from the following data find the number of class intervals if class length is given as 5. The data are uh, data is given as follows 72, 73, 65, 54, 54, 41, 80, 50, 49, 53, 46. Going to our worksheet. Now, those data we need to arrange in ascending order as follows 41, 46, 49, 50, 53, up to 80. So, from the lowest value of 41 to highest value, value the difference is 40 that is uh, highest value minus lowest value minus 1 given the length is 5 then the number of class interval is equal to highest value minus lowest value minus 1 divided by length here it is 40 by 5 which is equal to 8 therefore number of class interval is 8 so the answer is option D going to our PowerPoint presentation it is D option which says it is a which of the following is not a two dimensional figure given the four options line diagram pi diagram square diagram rectangular diagram since line diagram alone is not a two dimensional figure so the answer as per PowerPoint presentation is a which says it is line diagram uh, 47th question which says mid values of classes are also called as class marks so as this is as per definition so uh, the answer is option c as per powerpoint presentation that is option c it says class marks 48th question less than and more than type of ogives meet at a point known as median as per the concept of ogives so as per our powerpoint presentation it is b option which says it is median 49th question for the classes 0 to 10 11 to 20 21 to 30 31 to 40 41 to 50 etc the class mark of the classes 41 to 50 as per the working class uh, as per the working we see class mark or mid value of the interval is the arithmetic mean or average of the lower class boundary and the upper class boundary of the class hence it is 41 plus 50 by 2 which is 45.5 so the answer is option C going to our PowerPoint presentation it is option C which is 45.5 uh, 50th question the difference between lower and upper class limit is uh, is not called the neither of these options only the last option which means none of these so the answer is D option which says none of these uh, 
thanks for your patient hearing on the topic uh, statistical description of data constant uh, for the solutions for any further queries or doubts you can always email to the mailing address as follows it is queries at graymatteracademics.com thank you meet you again next time